From the Midco SN studio, I'm Jay Elson. Well, after years of planning, the Dakota Dome renovation project is officially underway at the University of South Dakota. Crews began work on the west side of the facility last month. And while the construction is creating a temporary inconvenience, those that currently use the dome are staying focused on the vision itself. What things look like on paper and what they look like when you're actually looking at it, you're still, I find a lot of people trying to cock their head a little bit and they look at it and try to think, okay, what's going where and what are they doing and what's the next step? So probably, if, if anything, it's increasing that anticipation for the final product. Every day you come in and uh, things look different in there. You know, right now they're still in kind of the, the uh, not necessarily demolition, but in the preparing to really start building stages and uh, uh, a lot of work being done. Uh, you know, we're, we're really excited uh, about what the end product's going to look like, and, uh, you know, it's going to be a process to get there. The good news is, since it's always sunny and 70 inside the Dakota Dome, Mother Nature should have little to no effect on that process. With that said, very few projects, particularly ones of this magnitude, go off without some sort of hitch. Remember, this dome was built, was open 40 years ago, so the blueprints were probably 42, 43 years ago. Not everything on the blueprints is lining up to how we thought they were going to be, and it could be the position of a column, it could be certain things are not lining up. So we're, the, the contractors and the design team are having to make some adjustments on the fly to account for um, some, some, some differences or some variances from what's on the blueprints to what we're actually finding when we, when we cite things or we line things up. Now, despite those initial hurdles, Herbster says he fully expects the project to hit its completion target, which is set for the summer of 2020.